Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Wednesday, May 27th. Uh, steep pullback in the market today. We went from yesterday it was Nirvana. Today the sky is falling. You know, tomorrow it'll be Nirvana again. Uh, pretty steep sell-off in the last 60 minutes of the session. Big driver on the selling other than news of you know the expected GM bankruptcy was a sell-off in bonds. Uh, bond yields spiked uh, two tenths of a point today, which is a pretty big move intraday. There was a treasury auction. The sale went very very well, but as is the case, the sale went well. They needed the market to come down, so they floated the rumor of uh, quotation marks concerns that there might be problems selling debt in the future. Even though there has yet to be a problem selling treasuries, but it's not going to stop them from spreading the fear and slamming the market down so that they can, again, repeat what we saw yesterday. Uh, really, it's not a surprise that we're seeing a sell-off in treasuries. Uh, the yield went back to the November highs. Last time we were at this price on the yields was back in November. Right when the market started tanking and all that money started flowing into treasuries as a safe haven, driving the yield lower. So, I mean, it's just ridiculous some of the stupidity they post uh, in the business media these days. They want the recovery to happen. If the recovery is going to happen, bond yields are going to go up. They're not going to go down. Stock market's up. You know, people are going to leave the safety of treasuries. Ergo, yields are going to go up. Uh, it's not rocket science here, folks. Anyway, let's flip over to the daily chart. Redrew the daily chart here. As you can see, we've been in this pretty much for the month of May in a trading challenge from 8,200 to 8,600. Absolutely nothing wrong if we see this happen the entire summer because as you've seen, you know, flat market is a fantastic market for traders like us. Volume wasn't that great except for the last hour. I believe there were some rumblings as well about rebalancing in the financials. So that brought some added selling pressure. We'll probably see a pop on the market again tomorrow, you know, just like we saw yesterday, and the cycle will continue. Flip over to some stock plays here. BCON, very nice flag formation on this one. This has been coiling nicely over the, you know, last month or so as it's been backfilling its breakout. We're still waiting on the Department of Energy uh, loan guarantee news, but uh, stochastics are back down in that buy zone. ADX continues to be remain strong and you know this little flag formation we have here the next break over 80 cents will set this one free and we should easily see a retest of the highs we saw before at a dollar stops right now on this ad uh, would be 70 cents actually as I'm looking for some reason BCON is up in after hours so you know my scan says a pop is coming on this one perhaps it comes tomorrow S-A-N-M, Sanmina, old favorite of ours, very close to a breakout. We actually did have a breakout on this one today. It got to 69 cents, was ready to bust out, and then the overall market cratered, which uh, hurt Sanmina for us, at least on the near term. Stops on this one at the 20-day exponential, 58 cents, and we're looking for at least a move to the 200-day moving average. That is at 78 cents right now. All the indicators look pretty strong here. We've got an extremely bullish ADX and stochastics were bouncing off the 50 level. So bounce back in the market tomorrow. Should see this one trade back into the 70 cents area. AXTI trading alert today. Massive volume on this one. Over the last week, we've had a couple of huge volume spikes on this one. Uh, volume usually precedes price appreciation. Next move over a dollar thirteen should set this one free with a target of a dollar twenty five, a dollar forty five stops at the twenty day exponential. So I'll be looking at placing stops ninety five to ninety seven cents on this one. Very small play just because it's going to go big and we're playing the volume here. And you know this kind of volume usually means look at the check out the on bounce volume. It's just gone vertical. We should see the price play catch up on this one big time in the near term. GNVC Genvec cup and handle breakout uh, cancer play going into ASCO got our first move above the 200 day moving average today at uh, 74 cents stock was continuing higher in after hours trading this one really could motor I mean we're seeing garbage biotech stocks explode right now no reason why this one can't follow suit and make a move into the 90 cent to one dollar area ONT also sent out an alert on this one today. Uh, it's 
been pretty much a slow walk down since its breakout a couple of weeks ago. We hit the downtrend or the uptrend line today. This one had a golden cross last week, and we have not had our golden cross uh, spike on this stock yet. So the touch of the uptrend, uptrend line today, this golden cross we had last week, and I'm thinking a spike is imminent on this one to 50 cents. Uh, if you're entering a scalp here around 37 to 39 cents, place your stops at 35 cents. But uh, everything tells me this one's ready to rumble. Every time we've seen stochastics hit 20, it's been right before a big spike in this stock. ACLS, it was another trading alert today, around 41 cents. Huge volume on this again. Nice little retrace, trading below cash. The real breakout is a move above 50 per, above 50 cents. As I mentioned in your alert, uh, this is a teaser, don't forget me play. We'll add the real position on a break over 50. But, you know, seeing as I think it's going to go there, why give up the, you know, 10 cent move that we're expecting? So a little nibble position here. Stops 35 cents, and we'll look to add this one on a break over 50. And a target after that would be a move to 70 cents. Quick mention on TELK we've played this one before, back when it was in the 20s as a cash rich play. Uh, we saw stocks like KERX just explode today and has a higher market cap than TELK that's got 57 million dollars in cash. and you know, 35 million market cap. So these guys are also presenting data at ASCO. A break of 80 cents really will set this one free. I mean, you can't go wrong. ASCO play, ASCO, you know, the cancer conference play, cash rich, really hasn't had that big of a spike off its golden cross and, you know, really could be a nice mover over the next couple of days. I mean, this one, there's no reason why it couldn't trade to $1, especially if it gets any sort of positive news. Again, a small play. Just because we're chasing this one a little bit higher, uh, if you're looking to place your stops, we'll place them, you know, 60 cent area on this one. So that's it for the video update tonight. You know, don't worry. You know, the market was down big, but, you know, we were up 155 points yesterday. You know, we're down 170 today. You know, they'll spin some new story tomorrow and, you know, we'll be up 50, 60 points tomorrow. So that's it for the video. See you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.